Thank you. Thank you. Miss Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, thank you very much for coming today. I love presenting at Toastmasters because it's the only place where I don't pay to my audience to come. <laughs> <laughs> the other day I was walking with my girlfriend along one beautiful street in San Francisco and I saw an alcoholic. He had an ugly unshaved face and he was lying in the already dirty clothes in the puddle of his own belch. He smelled disgustingly. And uh, I looked at him with disgust. And then I saw this beige saying, competent alcoholic. <laughs> 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 then I thought, well, if the alcoholics are addicted to alcohol and we consider them sick, if drag addicts are addicted to drugs and we consider them sick. Why we Toastmasters who are addicted to Toastmasters and public speaking are not considered sick. <laughs> well, I have seen many Toastmasters. Some of them are Toastmasters members just for three months and they can get out of it without any serious consequences. But I am on Toastmasters already for three years and need severe treatment. <laughs> I googled for Toastmasterholics and Anonymousosity in Google to share all my struggles which I went through in my life due to this disease. And this place looks to be right. Well, if I were giving my ice breaking speech in Toastmasters Alcoholic Saucity, it would look probably <coughs> like this. Hi. My name is Andrew. <laughs> and I'm a Toastmaster. <laughs> it all started when I was five. <laughs> Sorry, memories. My mom was, give, was, t was reading me a folk tale to help me fall asleep. And I told her, Mom, if you want to be more effective, you need to use more personal stories and self-deprecating humor. <laughs> the other day I was a Toastmaster at my birthday. And I asked if my mom and brother want to volunteer to fill the roles of General Evaluator and the Guest Greeter. <laughs> then I asked all the guests to introduce themselves and tell why they came to my birthday. <laughs> at the end of the meeting I announced well, all the guests are welcome to, camp, to come to our meetings, but if they want to become family members, they need to fill out the forms and bring the presents. <laughs> <laughs> then I grew up and I entered the university. Before the first year started, I sent emails to all the professors asking, what are their subject titles? And if they need a member, a mentor, to mentor them with their first three lectures. <laughs> a year ago, my brother invited me to his wedding and I was supposed to give a toast. I was excited and I asked him to be my evaluator. <laughs> then I asked all the guests to vote for the best speaker. <laughs> and I won. <laughs> it's sort of difficult to manage. My first date lasted 30 minutes and 20 seconds. <laughs> it was in a gorgeous restaurant, in a v and it was with a very astonish astonishingly beautiful girl. I didn't invite her for the second date. You can understand that first, she went dramatically over time, <laughs> and second, she refused to pay her lunch dues. Three months ago when I was in Kiev, and I met my best friend, who is also a Toastmaster, we had a bet that I will be able to come to the train car in the subway and will shake the hands of everyone on the car. And there should be at least 30 people in it. And I was a Toastmaster, so I excitedly went down the subway, took, came to the platform, looked at the people, became straight. And then I got scared. <laughs> I couldn't pull a word of me. My knees shaked. My voice trembled. 
and I got stuck. But then, I saw a point. I remembered a word of priest Bob from my LSI Logic Toast Master's Charge. Mm -hmm. And he said, Brothers and sisters, I believe in you. You've got the power to be successful in public speaking. You need just to believe in a district governor. <laughs> <laughs> and he needs you to succeed just two things. First, connect to your audience. And second, pay your club dues in time. <laughs> well, I remember that I paid my club dues in time, so there was only one thing left. So I went into the car on the subway, and Toastmaster announced my speech. He said, Ladies and gentlemen, attention. Be careful, the doors are closing, next station is. So, I breathed three times, looked into the eyes of every single woman, man, child, and every single grandfather <coughs> on the train. And then I said, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Andrew. And here's my best friend Sergei. He comes from Moscow. And then Moscow don't believe that we here in Kiev are friendly enough and welcome for guests. So we had a bet with him that I will be able to shake a hand of everyone he, of you here in the train. And we had a bet for a box of beer. Please help me to prove to this Moscower that we in Kiev are friendly enough. So oh, man. Could you shake my hand? Thank you. Could you shake my hand? Thank you very much. Then some people, some young people there and there asked me to come to us, to come to us. I shook their hand, their hand. Then I went through the whole train. I came to every single person. Every single person was smiling and I shook their hand. When I came to the end of the car, I turned and I saw so many smiling pe people looking at me. They were discussing that. They came after the, after the long, difficult work day, and I believe they will remember it for a long time, and they will talk to all their family members that they saw some crazy guy on the train, but who was funny? And I remember this is one of the best days in my life, and that experience one of the most interesting ones. <coughs> Let me tell you guys what I'm saying. <coughs> but I don't want to be treated Toastmaster is kind of disease, which is not that dangerous, and it helps us to get better as a speaker, better as a person, and better member of the community. And I want, and I dream, that there will be a day where I could write a letter to my mother, where I would write, Mom, I'm 40. We had an alumni meeting last Sunday with the guys from my university and there was one guy his name was Bob he stood up proudly and said guys I became a doctor and there was another girl Jennifer from my group and she stood up proudly and said I'm an experienced lawyer and I raised two beautiful children and I will stand up even more proudly and say and I became President. Mom, your son, LSI Logic, District 4 Club President. Thank you very much. <laughs>